Let's get started on this first type of word problem here, simply identifying the ratio. I'm going to zoom in because obviously this is not as uh, big as I would like it to be. So I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. And again, this is a guided warm up in a word problem of identifying the ratio. So remember that the order matters, everybody. The order matters. If they say, hey, give me the ratio of cats to dogs, you're going to write a fraction with cats first and dogs second. The order matters. So let's go through this here. The first thing we need to do is always what, everybody? When it comes to word problems, what's step one? Oh, yeah. Some of you are writing it twice. Read the question. So let's go ahead and read that question first. And I'm not saying the whole problem. I'm saying the question sentence. Excuse me there. Right here. What is the ratio of red to green marbles? That is the first thing you always want to do when it comes to any word problem. Not read the whole problem. Just read the question sentence. You want to know what the goal is. If you don't know what the goal is, then how do you know you're doing anything right? Start with the question. Don't waste time on anything else. As always, my Mazvat party people, thank you for watching this video. Before we continue, just wanted to remind you that if you're struggling with the ASVAB, if you struggle with test anxiety, blanking out on problems, then you need to consider the ASVAB All Access program. Thousands of my students have tried it out and they have always raised their scores if they use it the right way because there's always a way to learn for whatever method you like best from recorded lessons to live classes to guided practice videos to printable worksheets to speed drills to help you test and raise your confidence and speed to casual practice that comes with video solutions. Every single way that you can think of over 10,000 questions, all of it lined up for you, ready for you to get started right now. So at the very least, check out the link in the description so you can see exactly how it works and why, again, over a thousand of my students have raised their scores with it all the way through. I'm proud of you. Let's keep working hard and let's get back to the video. But don't forget, check out that program. I think you'll like it. So here, what is the, oh, look at that, a math word, ratio. And then they tell you exactly what to look for. Red to green marbles. So everybody, quick question. What's another word for ratio? It's not proportions. What's another word for ratio? Fraction, exactly. If you didn't know that, write this down. Ratios and fractions are literally the same exact thing. There are different ways to write them. There are different ways to write them in terms of hack and actually having a fraction using colons or using words but they are literally the same thing. So ratio means fraction. And in this problem, they're asking you to compare red to green. So that means we need red up top and green on the bottom, not the other way around. Again, the order matters. If you would have put green marbles up top and red on bottom, you're done, go home. No, not gonna work. Not going to work. So again, ratios and fractions are the same thing. And all this problem is asking you to do is write a fraction that's comparing red to green marbles. Now we can look at the actual information because now we know what we're looking for. And we can stay calm, cool, and collected throughout the entire process. So here we go. In a bag, there are 12 red marbles and 20 green marbles. Let's go ahead and write a ratio of red to green. So everybody, how many red marbles did they say there were? Right, they say 12, right? We see that right there, 12 red marbles. And let me just go ahead and erase this big old circle there. And for anybody who has OCD, let me just do you a favor right there. 12 red marbles. And how many green marbles? Were we given that? Okay, we were given that. It says 20 right there, 20 green. And so what I'll do here is 20 green. Okay, and so that's it. That's it. We actually had all the information we needed, actually had it. And so we have 12 red over 20 green. I'm good. That's the answer. But why the heck is that not one of the answer choices? Right. We need to simplify. That's right. We have got to simplify the fraction. Simplify the fraction. We have got to simplify the fraction. And so remember everybody, 
all simplifying a fraction is, all it truly is, is you are dividing the same number from the top and the bottom or the numerator and denominator, whatever you want to say, but you're finding a number that you can divide out of the top and the bottom, preferably the biggest number so you can get as much work done ASAP. So what I'm saying is if you look at 12 over 20, you can divide them both by two. For sure, you absolutely can. But that's not the biggest number. You're going to have more work to do if you keep doing small numbers. What's the biggest number that can go into 12 and 20? Jessica, that's what's up. Four, exactly. There we go. And so what we'll do here is we'll say, hey, I can divide the top by four and the bottom by four. That's what simplifying looks like. Remember, my math party people, acing the ASVAB is not just about watching me do it. It's better that you practice as well. It's about watching, practicing, and mastering the material. And the best way to do that is to start off with my free practice test because it comes with video solutions so you can try it out yourself, see all the mistakes that you've made, and then keep raising your score with those video solutions, organizing yourself so you can lower that test anxiety and raise your score. No excuses, it's completely free. So go ahead and click the link there or in the description. That way you can get started, raise your score, and do everything you need to do. Let's ace the ASVAB, but let's get back to the problem after you're done signing up. And so 12 divided by four is three. And 20 divided by four is five. And that would be our correct answer. That would be it right there. And that's why A, not B, A is the correct answer, three to five. Not five to three, three to five, because they literally said red to green. So that three represents red, the five represents green. It's a ratio of three to five. Just like we said earlier, right? One over two, five over 10, they're the same thing. They truly are. And so we both know this video just helped you with your test anxiety by just a little bit. And to keep lowering your test anxiety and keep raising your confidence, that's what my ASVAB All Access program is for. The link's right up here. Click it, watch the video on how it works, and you'll see exactly why thousands of my students have raised their scores and gotten the jobs they want. So click there, watch the video, and sign up to raise your score. I'll see you soon.